by Keith Crawford. One old, abandoned mine. Narrow tunnels, torchlight. Come on, Sid, admit it. This place is spooky as fuck. Losing seismic sensor number 5B, depth 60 metres. Just think. Generations of our forefathers worked and died down here. I mean, not actually my forefathers. Or yours, come to think of it. Toby, you're getting readings. The stillness of the dead world's winter dawn amazed him, and he groaned, the king is gone. From the great deep to the great deep he goes. The censors are reading you poetry. Tennyson, the legend of the king under the mountain, where Arthur waits to wake in England's greatest peril, overthrow tyranny, and bring justice to the people. You know, the 99% with bloody big swords. What the hell are you going on about King Arthur? Didn't you see all that stuff in Eric's office? The Knights of the Round Table crap? Yeah, very Monty Python. Eric Barnes is the third richest man in Nottinghamshire and a yank to boot. He's bound to be a bit crazy. To be honest, I thought he'd just buy Nottingham Forest. Is that what you told him when you two had your chat down here last week? I still don't know how you persuaded him to let us in. You know, this mine is older than Tennyson. Harry teach you that. Your wife likes poetry. I didn't know. We just had a 6.5 scale earthquake in Nottingham. Harriet has other things on her mind than fucking Tennyson. Now, is there anything useful on the censors? Chill out, Sid. If the government were taking this seriously, they wouldn't be sending two random geology postdocs. They are taking it seriously. They called the Cobra Committee, for Christ's sake. And they only do that because it sounds cool. Cobra. Like Mask or G.I. Joe. Well, maybe if we had our 350 million back from the EU, they could afford a proper survey. But it was our research that detected the source of the tremor, so we're the best people to send. That's why we're down here, and that's, that's what I told Eric. Oh, it's our research now. I, I don't remember you being this keen before. Come on, Sid. Let's make this the last one and get back to the surface. We still have three more sensors we could place. Eric was pretty clear he didn't want us to go any deeper. Not to mention those sports don't seem very... sporty. And why would something at the bottom of an abandoned coal mine be causing the earthquakes? That's what we're here to find out. Uh, there's no need to go out of our way to make people angry with us. Why would your wife be teaching me Tennyson? Your kind like that sort of thing. My kind? Like my kind me, or my kind me and Harriet? May as well leave your bag here. Sid, we did our PhDs at the same geology school. I think you lose the right to be insecure about class when people call you doctor. I'm a chemist, not a geologist. Hey, did you see that? Was that a butterfly? <laughs> Don't be an idiot. Come on, this way. It looked like a butterfly. Or a snowflake. Great, and take it like an Englishman. I got that. I'm running. Get off me. Put on your SCSR. What? Your breathing apparatus. On your belt. Shit, it isn't working. You're just not doing it right. Oh, I it broken. This way. This way is deeper. Well, you should have thought of that before. Before what? What the fuck? Through here. For something. No. You look like you're waiting for something. You mean aside from a Brazilian tums falling on our heads? Yeah. Aside from that. 
This is the shelter. We should... We should be safe here. Sheltered. Great. What the hell was that? The mine shaft collapsed. Probably another earthquake. No, I mean the explosives. What? How did you... How do you know that? I thought you were a chemist. I'm ex-army, Sid. Royal Engineers. That was explosives. I know you're ex-army, Toby. You've been bragging about it for the last eight years. Probably what she sees in you. What? Canned goods in these lockers. One can of salmon, one can of peaches. Two dozen cans of tuna. Twenty litres of condensed milk. This can't be left from when the mine was closed down. Hey, look at this. 1980s graffiti. (laughs) Fuck Thatcher. Funny. These days, the Reagan-Thatcher era seems relatively sane. Are you bitching about Brexit again? No. Because if we're stuck down here, the last thing I want to hear is you bitching about Brexit. Sid, how can you possibly be pro-Brexit? Your dad's from Islamabad. Then he can fuck off back there for all I care. My mum's from Mansfield. This is... this is my country. I suppose it's all right for you. I mean, it's not like anyone can tell you aren't really white. Why are the immigrants always the biggest racists? I'm not an immigrant. And the EU's only for posh fucks like you. Wasn't your dad's money the only reason you got your regimental commission? Why do you keep looking up? Can you hear something? Over you, talking shit. You think there's going to be another landslide? There's no way this shelter should still be standing. It it should have collapsed with the rest. Then why the hell did you lead us down here? You know, there should be a phone... A, a wind-up phone to the surface. It probably won't work. Isn't this all a bit strange? Supplies in the storeroom, explosions in the mine shaft. Hey, is that exit on the map? I don't know. We should stay put. This plan here on the table is new. Whatever Eric bought this land for, it isn't an extension to the mine. It's an excavation. An excavation for what? What I want to know is why the tuna? I bloody hate tuna. I don't think Eric built all this to store fish and spare condensed milk. Here. Wind-up phone. Cables bust. Geology PhD, mate. I can fix a telephone. You should be trying to fix your rebreather. No point. Look, the line's been cut. The funny thing is, I checked it before we left. What are you looking at me like that for? No reason. Come on, Eric, you son of a bitch, pick up. Just about. Sid doesn't seem too happy about it. Fuck you. Are you hurt? Uh, Nothing more than bruises and, you know, paralysing fear. What the fuck happened? No idea. But the main elevator shaft collapsed. I'm sorry, guys. But there's no way out. Mm, What about the secondary shaft? What? There's a secondary shaft? We made it to the shelter. There are supplies here and a set of plans that show extra tunnels. Uh... I don't know anything about that. I told you not to go too deep. Eric, you need to contact emergency services and get a rescue team out. Do you hear me? We need digging out. I hear you. I'll... I'll call you back. Eric? Eric, are you still there? Well, that went well. Fuck you. Look on the table. There are plans for new elevators... And here, a second elevator shaft. Could could the new digging have been causing the earthquakes? You know, the, the explosions. Uh, what? You think Eric Barnes and Kim Jong-un have been testing nukes a mile beneath Burton-on-Trent? We aren't beneath Burton. Uh, it could be Gareth Williamson, I suppose. Shifty fucking Tories. Something tells me Eric isn't going to rush to rescue us. Who the fuck is Gareth Williamson? Uh, the Secretary of Def... Yeah... To be fair, the Prime Minister changes the cabinet more often than you change your underwear. But your sort never do keep track of politics, do they? My sort? All that talk about equality. But underneath, you're just as racist as the rest of us. Racist? I'm not the one ashamed of his real name, Sadiq. And, you know, my granddad was from Wrexham, so I can't be racist. Yeah, that's definitely how it works. Whatever. I'm following the new tunnel and looking for the secondary elevator. 
The tunnel could collapse. Well, we'll find out pretty quick. There could be more explosions. Ditto. No way I'm staying here to drink 20 litres of condensed milk. Besides, like you said, another explosion could bring down the shelter. We still don't know it was an explosion. We're safer here. Of course we know... Wait. You said the explosion should have collapsed the shelter. And you were in the mine last week with Eric. Then you led us here, even though you thought it would collapse. Better than the elevator shaft, which did collapse. It was you, wasn't it? It was me what? Mr. Bloody Chemist, what on earth possessed you to bury us under 90,000 tonnes of earth? I didn't do anything. You blew up the fucking mine with us inside. Why? You know why. Oh, Jesus Christ. Harriet. See? I knew it. You're a fucking idiot. You slept with her. In my house. I did not. I smelt you. Afterwards, on the bedsheets. You smelled me on your bedsheets? Didn't that, you know, sound weird in your head before you said it? If I can't have her, then nobody will. Especially not a posh fuck like you. Yeah, I did... Christ, Sid, we're both from the bloody Midlands. Neither of us is exactly Eton, Oxbridge, Bang, Pepper, Middleton, then back to the Conservative Club for brunch. And even if I did fuck your wife, which I didn't, why bury us both down here? I didn't mean to bury us alive. I thought the explosion would kill us. That's totally comforting, Sid. I am totally comforted. I just... I just don't want to live without her. It should have worked. I had no way to know about those extra tunnels. So your maths is just as bad as your sense of smell. And I'm leaving. You won't be able to breathe out there. Not without your apparatus. You'll get stone dust in your lungs. I'll try to hold my breath until the other side. Maybe it'll be clearer. Maybe this way is better. Getting everything out in the open before we die. <laughs> you are a psycho. A total fucking psycho. I'm trapped down here with a total fucking psycho. I know you loved her. I saw you kissing her. You kissed her right in front of me. Are you talking about this again? Now? You knew I liked her. It was one time. Christ, we were first year undergrads. I didn't even know the two of you were going out. But you did know I liked her. So what? That makes her your private property. Don't try to worm out of it with clever words. You know what you did. I can't fucking... Believe you tried to kill us. I, I don't know. I, I literally don't know how to feel about this. I, I, okay. Okay. I guess when we get out of here, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you, well, or at the very least, unfriend you on Facebook. But until then, I need your help to get out. No. We deserve to die. You deserve to die. Stop talking crap and help me. I can't get through on my own. So tell the truth. Fuck you, you fucking psycho. My breathing apparatus is just fine. Okay, okay. You want the truth? Yes. Eight years ago, way back in 20 fucking 10, I did know when I kissed Harriet once that the two of you were going out and I didn't care. I was a dickhead when I was a fresher. Is that what you wanted to hear? Ex-army, posh fucker, dickhead student. Your kind think everything belongs to you. She married you, Sid. She married you. Did you talk to her about this? She's better off without me. Without either of us. Fucking dumb. Give me a puff on your breather. Take my torch instead. Where do you think you're going? Look, there. The second elevator and we can just squeeze through. What, what was Eric doing down here? I don't understand why he didn't tell me. I was right. The air is cleaner here. Okay. This lift seems fine. Let's get out of here. What? It works? No, no, I... I can't. I'm staying here. Fair enough. Have fun with the dying. Up! Those 20 litres of condensed milk are starting to look good right now, eh? Oh, for fuck's sake! There's another phone. Help me wind it. Fine. 
Don't help me wind it. Toby? Is that you? This isn't the shelter line. Yeah, yeah, we found the second lift. Ah, ah, I see. The lever doesn't work. Can you activate it from up there? I can. <laughs> Great! But I'm not going to. You're not what now? Is Sid there with you? I'm here. And you both saw the tunnels? What the fuck has that got to do with anything? Oh, it's not your fault. But you don't understand what we found down there. In the deep. Not really interested in going any deeper at the moment, if you know what I mean. And as for you, Sid, you were right. After our little talk last week, I went to see Harriet, and she told me all about you. What you do to her. That's why she's coming with me. To a new life. In Brazil. It was you with Harriet? I knew it! I knew it all along. Uh, frankly, I'm a little disappointed. You think I smell like Eric? Blowing up the shaft was supposed to seal the whole thing off. The deal was that you'd collapse the tunnels, not go deeper. Hang on, what deal? When I got into this, I thought it would be like Indiana Jones. But it's not. There's a natural order to things, and it has to be protected. What about me? So you were both with Harriet? I knew it. Shut up, stupid. No, I mean, what about me being left under a bazillion tons of rock to die because if I don't even know what the fuck? Activate the lift! Can't do it, Toby. You know too much. If only you hadn't gone to the shelter. When I paid Sid to collapse the mine, I didn't know he meant to do it with him inside. Uh, with both of you inside, I mean. I didn't know he would do this to you. I I'm sorry. I didn't know. The only thing I know is you've all gone crazy. Please, Eric, don't leave us here. At least call the police. If you don't, eventually someone will figure out what happened and you will be arrested and it will be for murder. Going to Brazil isn't the answer. It isn't like going to the moon anymore. They have, I don't know, international treaties now. Your only hope, your only hope is to get us out safely now. Nobody needs to know about the new tunnels. We can sort out this situation with Harriet. There's still a way out of this, but only if you do the right thing and... And... You've hung up the telephone again, haven't you? Can you believe that guy? He's right. Shut up, crazy person. I can't get the lift to go up. But if I unlock the mechanism, I can get the lift to go down. No, he, he's right. Harriet is better off with him. Then we could use the emergency exit to get back into the shaft and climb to the surface. We will die down here. Yeah, probably. Here it goes. Maybe this shaft has collapsed as well. Shouldn't you be happy? I thought you wanted to die down here. I wanted us to die down here. Oh, romantic. And what the fuck did Eric mean what you do to Harriet? She always forgave me. Afterwards. That's how I know she's mine, that it's true love. True love always forgives. Yeah. I can tell how you know that by the way you're down here committing suicide and taking me with you. Your people are like that with women though, aren't you? Proper bunch of cunts. Yeah. Because you sabotaged my breather as well, huh? So much for wanting it to be quick. A proper bunch of cunts. Shut up or fuck off. This is way deeper than I expected. I'm sorry. You're a prick, but I, I shouldn't have cut your SCSR. Well, I'm not dead yet. Help me get this door open. Okay, fine. I'll do it myself. I should have killed Eric instead. Oh, you mean the guy you collaborated with to murder your best friend and co-worker? I really don't think you've learned the right lessons from this experience. You should talk to your wife. You should talk to Eric. Or, better yet, stop blowing shit up with Eric. And you should bloody well stop talking about killing people. Now quit whining and help me find the emergency exit back into the lift shaft. Can you hear that? No. 
Okay, yes. Someone is playing the harp at the bottom of an abandoned mine. Maybe Eric did find something. Uh, maybe he left his iPod down here. Help me find the exit. No, uh, that, that's a real harp. Aren't you curious? By both going to die down here, we may as well find out why. I already know why. Because you are a nut job who can't handle the fact his wife has always been in love with another man. Another man? <laughs> Not really, White. You've never liked me and Harriet together, have you? No. No, I've never liked that you were with Harriet. But it had nothing to do with... Where are you going? To find the person with the heart. Come back here and help me get into the shaft! You owe me! Oh, for fuck's sake! Holy shit! This place is huge! How many of them are there? I don't know. A dozen here, and more out back. All these people. They look like they're just sleeping. Do you think they're alive? Which ones? The ones in the armor, or the... or the spearmen? The cobwebs on this guy's face are moving. He's breathing. And this one looks, looks like a king. He's holding a sword. All that, all that Arthurian shit. Do you think this is Excalibur? The heart's here on this rock. It's the wind. The wind is playing the music. Ah! Not a fucking immigrant, you bastard. And you did fuck my wife. No, I didn't! Ah! Stop lying. Uh, okay, fine. Damn right I did. Harriet was always too good for you, you fucking packy cunt. She should have been mine! Ah! Ah! Is it time? I, I, what? Is it time? King Arthur? Are you King Arthur? Does England need me again to raise up the people and overthrow the tyrants? Oh, I... I'm, I'm sorry, it was, it was just me and Toby. We knocked over your harp. Here, here, let me give you back your sword. No, wait, I'll clean it on my shirt first. Look, I'll put your harp back. England is just the same as it's always been. You know what? Raising up the people never seemed like a good idea to me. We're just as bad as the fuckers up top. Christ, Toby really got me there. Cut me with my own sword. I mean, your sword. Sort of hard to breathe. Can I, can I sleep here with you, with the rest of your knights? You'll wake when, when England needs you. When England really needs you. When we deserve it. In mine, the part of Sid was played by Roger Surridge, Toby by Keith Crawford, Eric Barnes and King Arthur by Joe Wilkins, music by Keith Crawford. The Little Wonder production team is Keith Crawford, Owen Roberts and Chris Taylor.
coming soon from Little Wonder. Walking the halls. You're not stuck in hell, you're just stuck in the house you had built in the company of the servant girl you pushed down the well. I've never known anyone so irritatingly cheerful. Except for the Witchfinder General, I suppose. He was a surprisingly jolly man on occasion. Did these occasions involve burning witches? Actually, now you mention it, they did. Little Wonder. Hi, I'm Keith, director of Little Wonder Radio Plays. We hope you enjoyed the show. Please take a moment to like, comment, share, and tell your friends about us. Thanks for listening, and do come visit us at littlewonder.website.